Jill Ross Nadler here with part five of my five part storytelling tip series, uh, talking about how to be expressive and how to get kids to really be engaged with your storytelling, whether you're telling it to a group in a library setting or a school or a classroom or any other kind of setting, or just a single child on your lap with a book. These tips all really make a difference and will really help with any of those scenarios. So we're talking about using your voice, using your face, using your body, using speed to be expressive. We talked about those in the other videos. My last little tip is to use interaction. Now this is like something that I do all the time. We make all of our stories, whether we're doing them on stage or in a smaller setting or on video, interactive. I want to talk directly to the audience. Um, and even again, if you just have one child in your lap, you can still do this. So instead of just reading the story straight through, you can ask them questions. To, you know, they can point things out. Hey, what do you think? You know, um, I was telling my great pizza contest story the other day and, and I was reading it to a child and I said, wait a minute, what do you, where do you think the pizza guys are? Ooh, what kind of pizza do you like? What's your favorite kind? So don't be afraid to stop the story, to interrupt. You don't have to just read straight through. Stop a moment, ask questions. Point things out if you have pictures or if you're just telling a story, you can ask for interaction. And I know sometimes in a big setting interaction, you're afraid that you know things are gonna get out of control. That's another series that I'll, I will do with other tips about audience control and how to really maintain that so that things don't get out of control when you are using interaction. But especially if you're just, you're reading a story, asking, pointing things out, Asking for the kids to participate makes a difference. So have fun. I hope these tips helped. Let me know, please, you know, write in the comments if it's helpful or what tips and tricks you might have for storytelling. I want to hear them. And thank you so much. And, you know, my motto, when you read and when you tell stories, every day is an adventure. Thanks. Bye.